This video is going to demonstrate how to drive a relativized graphic through a set of repeaters. So first let's go ahead and uh, create our graphic. Let's bring in a chart and let's go ahead and see room temperature. We can go inside this chart and change the time range. We'll just do maybe last month and we'll do every hour. And then I'm going to go inside this chart and I'm going to choose the vertical axes render and I'm going to set the base at zero. So that way we can really see some data fluctuate here. Okay. And let's bring in a gauge. And we'll see airflow. Just change this to say airflow. Next, let's bring in some text. And I just want this to show the VAV name. Now let's go ahead and group this and let's go inside the data flow of this group and we're going to bring in a relativize logic block and then we're going to bring in the path and hit enter. Click on relativize. Now here you can choose uh, which data points to relativize. In this case I'm going to select all of them and relativize. We can close this and we can double check that it's going to relativize by changing the path and we'll see in the background that it does in fact relativize. Let's close this and now let's convert this to a symbol and I'm going to call this let's just say LG. Let's go into edit the symbol and edit properties and let's go ahead and bring over a string and we're going to call this path and I'm just going to exit out of this symbol just so you can see what I'm doing here. I gave it a parameter called path. I want the path to be driven outside uh, but right now if I choose a path and hit enter it's not bound to anything so nothing's going to happen. So what we'll do is go back into the symbol and we'll go to modify properties if you have the latest version you can right click and choose edit properties and what we want to do is bind that exposed property to the path Oops. so that when we give it a path it does drive this graphic Okay, so we're all set for our relativized graphic. Now let's create a set of repeaters. So let's bring in a group and let the, let's put this to the left here. I want to give it a little, little bit of a background color. So. Now we're going to focus on the repeater section of a group. It needs two things. It needs a set of data and it needs a symbol. So let's go ahead and go inside the data flow of this group. And on the under the data panel, we are going to click on the hamburger icon, hamburger icon and drag in a be cool logic block. And it's going to uh, require a query. I already have a, a query saved. Uh, click on auto run and we'll see the uh, table of data that I'm querying for. Okay, so we have uh, data now so we just need to bind this table of data to this data section of the repeaters and next we need a symbol. 
So let's create a symbol. Let's insert a text, but put this on our stage. And let me see what the width uh, of this group is. It's 200. So let's set this at 100. And we'll just make it an even square. Let's give it a fill color. Let's darken that up a little bit. And let's also give it a stroke color. All right, next, let's go ahead and give it an action. So I'm going up to actions and let's create a set state on mouse enter and leave command and let's record and say that the background color will change to something a little bit brighter click the check mark perfect so let's go ahead and convert this to a symbol and we'll just call it L now let's give this a symbol parameter so let's edit this symbol, right click and choose edit properties and bring over a string and I'm going to call this label and I'm going to bind this to the text. Good. We're all set. So let's go ahead and delete this. Now let's select our group and give it that symbol. L. Next let's go ahead and change the layout to horizontal and turn on wrapping and let's also turn on the vertical scrolling so we can scroll through this so it does have data because the repeater has a set of data what we need to do is um, have the display name appear in each of our little tiles here so to do this let's select our group and Let's select our data and just go over to render and bring over the display name. We'll see that populate nicely. Lastly, we need to set an on click behavior that's going to drive this relativized graphic. So let's select our group and we're going to expand selection and turn on child on click. Next we're going to go inside the data flow and we're going to search for select rows and drag this over to our data flow. Now if I go to preview we will see that the selected index will change. And if I go back into here and select the table select rows, you will see that it's filtering for the rows. So see the display name change and also see the selected index change. So all we need to do is select the group and then just drag over the path, the cell of the slot path and bind it to this relativized graphic. So every time we select on a different VAV, it's going to drive this graphic.